Aloha, this is Pastor Keith from Christ Lutheran Church in Mililani Town, and I am streaming live on Mevo to Facebook, and I'll upload this then later to our YouTube channel. I wanted to give you uh, just a quick summary of the survey results from uh, the Survey Monkey that uh, about 25 or 30 of you took, and the results uh, were no big surprise. The, uh, mo the majority of people preferred Sunday to any other day of the week for worship. And uh, we offered a couple, a number of different times. And you all preferred equally 7, 8, 10, and 11. Looks like no one wanted to come at 9. One person thought 2 or 3 in the afternoon would be good. There were a small group of you, I think, who liked Sunday, but also said, you know, Wednesday evening or Saturday evening might work as well. So we're uh, going to take a good look at, at one of those. Uh, I don't think the musicians will show up at 7 a.m. on Sunday, but they'll be there by 8. And then with the pandemic being a little um, out of control right now, and it's probably going to be that way for a while. With the pandemic out of control here, we're going to probably stick to 8 and 11 for now. But we're uh, going to take a look at those times when things settle down a little bit more. Uh, a lot of you are staying home and uh, Zooming and YouTubing, and I think that's good. So we're, we're going to hold steady on that, but I want you to be thinking about these results and how we, we find our way about uh, as the p pandemic. Uh, I'm hearing some people say it, hopefully, knock on wood, may sir, subside a little uh, in October. So let's let's hope for that. In the meantime, in the meantime when it's really kind of hard to hope, right? And I think the one word I'm hearing from people is discouragement. It's not quite anger, not anymore. And it's not quite depression, but it's discouragement. That is, courage as faith being decreased or stretched or pulled apart. We are discouraged. Our faith is full of doubt, and we need to find a way to work through that. And I have an idea. I have an idea. So listen up to this. It's a suggestion. I, I'm borrowing it from another pastor that was doing something similar. It's simple. We'll call it prayer for the start of the day or morning prayer. Yes, morning prayer. And it'll have three pieces. It'll have scripture, a prayer, and a blessing. We're going to keep it simple. And I think then, too, what we ought to do is um, maybe um, not have me do it all. I'm kind of tired of looking at my face on those videos. So uh, I think these need to be the prayers of the people, the readings of the people. The liturgy literally means work of the people. So I think we're going to have at that. Uh, because there are ways to encourage, that is, increase faith, even in the midst of crisis, with intercessions from the Spirit that are too deep for words, sighs that are too deep for words. So, here's how I'm thinking this might work. That there'll be a good number of us doing this, I'll go first. I'm going to I'm going to give it a run here and and try and uh, model this and see where it needs some tweaking and go from there. But morning responsive prayer is probably what I'm going to use. I've used this before. It's a little more uh, than just uh, uh, scripture prayer and a blessing, but It'll be easy for me to use while I assemble what looks to be like a lot of scripture verses and a lot of prayers as resources for all of you to uh, dip into. There are lessons. There are three lessons in the Lutheran lectionary appointed for every day uh, of the year for three years in a row. So you could always pick one of those scriptures, choose a prayer that you like, bring one that you like, 
and then uh, a simple bend addiction. So what I'm thinking is the technology should be pretty easy. We'll record either into the Mevo or we'll record into the YouTube uh, or into my uh, little old laptop here. Yeah, we can just like, you know, there's some place up there. There right there is the, uh, you can't see it, but that's the camera. So we can do some, we can play with this. And then um, maybe, well, yeah, we, we can record uh, a bunch of them at once in the sanctuary. Just you and me and maybe one other person, but that would be it, keeping it safe. And then we will set a publishing time for them. So you don't have to be up at six in the morning if we decide to publish it at six in the morning. Uh, we can record them all of a day. And uh, if you want to take uh, a week or if you want to take a month of Mondays or a month of Thursdays, you know, four weeks, five weeks, then we, we could try that. So think about that. Pray about it. Uh, we'll record them uh, all at once if we, if we can. And there's plenty of resources. So think in terms of scripture, short scripture, a prayer, a short prayer. And a blessing. And what I want you to do, want us to do, is encourage each other at the start of the day, so that we might actually be able to encourage each other in the faith and get through the day. All righty. I'm going to close just with a prayer here, uh, and uh, then you can look forward tomorrow morning about 6 a.m. For on our YouTube channel, CLC Mililani, or Christ Lutheran Church of Mililani. Uh, you can find it either way, or go down to the bottom of our clcmililani.org website and click on the YouTube button. It'll be easy to find. But let's close with a prayer, and then uh, look forward tomorrow to what I'm going to share. E pule kako. Lord Christ, you came into the world as one of us and suffered as we do. As we go through the trials of life, help us to realize that you are with us at all times and in all things, that we have no secrets from you, and that your living grace enfolds us for eternity. In the security of your embrace, we pray. Amen. And now may Almighty God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, order your days and your deeds in the divine peace. Thanks for listening, and I'll hope to hear from you soon. Aloha.